लेक्चर Uh, is about the vectors or the rows and column vectors right or row and column uh, matrices so what are those let's say i have a matrix let's say it is basically let's say d capital d and it is equal to 1 2 or we have another matrix which is c and its values are let's say 5 and 6 so if you are noticing it what is strange about it first of all is it both of them are uh, basically square matrix or rectangular matrix both of them are basically square uh, rectangular matrix why because it has how many rows one row and two columns in another um, matrix it has two rows and one column so rows and columns in both of them are not equal which means they are not square matrix they are basically rectangular matrix but one thing is very strange and very important about these two matrices uh, the capital d matrix has only one row right it is written like a line and or a row and the matrix c has only one column or it is written like a column right that is why this kind of matrix is also known as row matrix and this kind of matrix is also known as column matrix and in language of programming in programming terms usually row matrix and column matrix are termed as vectors what vectors remember that the here we are actually creating some concepts which are important vector means a matrix having only one row or a having a having only one column so let's enter some matrix some vectors right let's say d d is basically what we are going to enter some matrix and it has only one row one two so no semicolon just enter it it has only one Uh, row it's a vector it's a row vector right uh, we can also enter c vector uh, i can i in 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 coming uh, e, uh, slides and coming commands i'm going to actually call them just vectors because it's quite understood now that these uh, row vector row matrix or column matrix are basically known as vector so i'm going to write the c vector and c vector is what a column matrix in which first row is 5 semicolon and the next row is basically 6 and then square bracket close and enter so d is what a, a row matrix or a row vector and you can see that it's a row and c is what a column matrix and you can see that it's a column or it's a column vector right so these columns and rows are quite uh you can say very important in matlab programming because usually uh, when we are dealing with arrays we are actually dealing with vectors for example uh, if you remember if you if you have done some c programming so usually we have a vac a matrix of some size right but basically this is not a array or a matrix it is a vector is having some values equals to six members right so this is going to happen in the matlab as well but we will deal accordingly accordingly uh, and call them as vectors so this is very important and critical concept and i hope you understand it here that's it from this video tutorial uh, if you have any confusion you can post your queries in comment section thank you so much for listening